Hey, this is Jackie with Metal Bonnie, and we're out in Phoenix, Arizona at Joe's Grotto, and I'm here with Steve from Deicide. How are you? I'm great, Jackie. Thanks for coming back out and seeing us. Always. <laughs> so you guys are on tour right now with Season of Suffering. How's the tour been going so far? Uh, tour's been a steamroller. We just came from um, Whiskey Go Go last night. We're sold out. That show was a bunch of animals bouncing off the walls in there. And um, a lot of other strong shows. Salt Lake City was pretty huge turnout for every night that was, Tuesday or something. And uh, lots of good cities. we still got a couple more to go, and we're hoping tonight we'll be pretty off the wall, too. Awesome. So you guys are uh, predominantly out of social media. It looks like you guys like to be more private. Would you? But your fans still come out to the shows. Would you say that you just don't agree with the mass amount of um, advertising people are doing nowadays? Uh, well, you know what? I know that um, I don't personally have a Facebook page. I know we have a band Facebook page. Um, but Glenn runs that, and he kind of gets temperamental with the way he runs it. If someone sends him a bad comment, he'll shut the page down for a week and just blow it off, and and then he'll he'll let uh, you know tell Kevy Metal to update it, and then he'll get back into updating it, and then he just gets sick of it again. So, uh, so what our our social media presence is pretty sporadic at mm -hmm. best, you know, but still. We find a way to get the word about the shows out. You know, the local promoters must do their thing. And, you know, we, we could definitely do a better job socially. But we still managed to get the job done, you know, luckily. Okay. So I'm assuming that this is the final tour for the In the Minds of Evil album. What is the current status of your new upcoming album? Uh, yeah, this will be the last bit of shows we'll do in the U.S. for this. We're going to go back to Europe maybe one more time for it. But as far as the new record goes, we've got about eight or nine songs um, and we're gonna do another three or four you know we'll pull together when we get back from this tour and um, if we can pull that music together you know the 10 or 12 songs whatever it might be and maybe get into the studio and start doing the drums and the music by the end of the year or something uh, we could have something out by next year I doubt we'll have anything out by this year okay. but so um Deicide is known for writing really heavy songs with intense lyrics. Uh, what would you say the direction of this upcoming album is you guys are going in? Uh, you know, it seems like we're going to be taking the same approach. I mean, we, we're we not going to fix what isn't broken <laughs> as far as what we do. You know, we've been writing heavy riffs. We're just going to make them heavier as we work with them together. And, um, you know, it was weird. Even the... <laughs> When we did the last record, I was like, eh, I'm really not that psyched about these songs. And the album turned out being great. And like the way the new material is, it's funny. I'm kind of like, eh, it could be better. You know, it's like, we'll, we're going to just be hashing some more stuff out and really make it intense because we know we did a pretty good one. We're going to have to beat it, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but we're going to work on it hard, make sure it's good. So you guys have been very consistent over the years with your sound. What would you say keeps inspiring and influencing you uh, and the sound of your music? Uh, well, you know, just wanting to be heavy. We have a nice, steady band lineup that is focused, and uh, we feel that we can really do some good work now that everyone's kind of on the same page. So as long as we focus our riffs and focus our energies on making the songs good and doing good tours, you know, it's going to it's going to give us another few years, another few records, you know, and a good number of years left ahead of us to keep doing this. Still feels good. It's fun. And, and uh, we'll keep at it as long as we can keep going. So Deicide, um, Obituary and Cannibal Corpse are still very strong bands today. Uh, looking back at the death metal scene, how much would you say that it's changed compared from back in the day to now? Uh, well, there's a back in the day when death metal first broke, there was like two million death metal bands that started all over the world and that has died down obviously over the years and there's been the new metal and the um, grindcore and all these new subgenres and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then people kind of harken back to old school death metals, like they call it now. Oh, we need the old school death metal. <laughs> like, it's, it's hard to remember it was 25 years ago, you know, which mm -hmm. so, I guess makes it old school. But it's good that people 
want to hear it the old fashioned way because that's still the way we do it now. Like when we write new songs, we're not trying to sound like the new band sound today. You know, we still sound right what we sounded like 20 years ago. So it's good that people still want to hear that style because that's what we have to offer. You know? To change too much would be like we're copying some new generation, which we don't want to do that, you know. It's like, let them be them, we'll be us, and there's plenty of styles for everyone, you know. Are there any new bands out there right now that you're currently listening to? Um, I like the guys in Whitechapel. Uh, I had a chance to meet a couple of them, and they were fun. And uh, they have their, They're really heavy, and they're really heavy breakdowns. They used to blast. So as far as one of the newer, the younger generation, they were, they were cool kids, at least to meet and hang out with them. And uh, so I just, you know, mentioned them as, as a new band. And, but we hear so many bands, local bands, and it's kind of hard to tell them apart. A lot of them are very good. Some forgettable, you know, but there's all kinds out there. And, the, you know, the best ones usually end up doing pretty well. So um, a few years ago, we did have the Big Four tour, which was kind of just um, the four biggest thrash bands. Uh, if they decided to do something like that for death metal, along with yourself, uh, who would you like to see on that lineup? Uh, you know, I think the obituary guys have been angling to get something like that going. I'm sure they would want to get us and Cannibal and Obituary and um, who's left, you know, Morbid Angel. I don't know if they're doing too well. You know, they're still trying to put their new band or act together as they see it. Uh, maybe get Malevolent Creation or something like that. That would be a great lineup. Um, for the Florida bands, yeah, that would be a perfect lineup. You know, I wish Death was still around to do it, but, uh, you know, as far as the original guys, yeah, I think that's, that would be pretty heavy. <laughs> yeah. So this summer you guys are, play, are headed to Europe to play uh, Hellfest. Um, how excited are you guys to be playing this festival? Uh, well, you know, we were supposed to play Hellfest about 10 years ago and were kicked off because of some vandalism in a graveyard. Then they spray painted some of our lyrics or something. Anyway, the pressure got all the way to the festival organizer. We were kicked off and I uh, thought we wouldn't be invited back ever, and we really weren't until now all of a sudden we got an offer to go back. So I guess it's okay to go back and play Hellfest now. So we'll go do it. And, um,. See if we can pull it off. We're supposed to play very late on the last night. It's a Sunday night. It's after Sabbath. Right after Sabbath ends, about five minutes later, we start. And then some other band also plays at the same, like King Diamond or some, some other, like a black metal band. Anyway. But we're in the, called the Temple Stage, which is about a 10,000 capacity person tent. We'll, it'll be fun. We'll be like the... Uh, the Black Sabbath show after party band. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> hopefully there's a lot of people there. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll attract some people as they're leaving to come in and watch us. Yeah. But it'll be fun. I'm psyched to do it. You know, it's a good stepping stone. Get us up into the main stage someday, you know. Mm -hmm. So festivals in Europe are very in incredible, amazing experiences. Um, do you ever think that America will catch up or that metal isn't accepted here as much as it is there? You know, I'm kind of surprised. I see a lot of metal festivals popping up here and there. There's one in Fort Myers, Florida, of all places, where it's south of where I'm from, and all of a sudden Megadeth and all these bands are playing down there, and I think they're... Like, America sees that Europe has all these great festivals, and they want to try and replicate that, but they're really kind of... They're hesitant. Well, they're, it's just a hard fight, you know? It's cost people a lot of money, and they're not recouping their money, you know? Like, Metallica did their fest and lost their asses twice, and Mayhem just lost their ass, and, you know, it's hard to get these things off the ground. It's just the American general populace doesn't want a bunch of giant metal fests around. They want these dance party fests and this type of thing. It's like, yeah. They just think metal is too dark and aggressive to have that many of them together in one place, I guess, you know. But, you know, they're working on it. They'll get there. Yeah, hopefully in the future we see more yeah. of them, more yeah. organized. Yeah, yeah, I hope so too. Get us on there at least. <laughs> So, um, metal is kind of an international language. It's the metal scene all over the world is basically the same. What other countries would you say that you have a lot of support and you love to play? Uh, you know, we always like playing in Holland and England and Poland and France. 
and Italy, uh, Norway, and Sweden. You know, a lot of the old school European countries really love their metal. Eastern Europe loves it, Slovenia and Slovakia, and um, um, Romania, places like that. Greece, you know, we've been there a few times, and the, it's, it's, you know, it could be good or bad, depending on the day, but a lot of the Eastern Europe places have always been strong, and England is always pretty good, and Canada is really good, and Mexico and South America are always huge turnouts, and we haven't been down to Australia in about 10 or so years, but they're pretty good down there. You know, it's like metal really does have that worldwide appeal where I know bands have been going to India and China and stuff like that, and we haven't done that. We don't really plan on doing that. Uh, I don't know if it's just too far or the, the conditions. You know, the last time I heard about a big metal festival over there in India, a bunch of bands went and it didn't even happen because of a monsoon and half the people got arrested and nobody got paid. And so I'm not going to go all the way up there for that yeah. hassle. You know, let them get their scene established, you know. But we did that when we first started going to Mexico City in 1992 when they had, didn't even have equipment for us to play on, you know. We'd show up with this rinky dig drum set and no gear and, and we'd make a show out of it and it was almost a riot, you know, but it's like we don't want to do that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's like let's keep it where people have gear and the shows are good and safe. And, you know? There was one time in Honduras or something about ten or fifteen years ago, there was like Ten thousand people to showed up to to a thousand person club, and there was they called it the National Guard. And they were tear gassing them, and they had to have a police escort. We had to drive for blocks, like ten blocks, before we even saw anyone that wasn't a metalhead. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was like wow, it was fucking. Anyway, that's just like some of our little stories I got about how crazy it can get out there. Yeah. After scene or whatever isn't ready for it. You know? So, what's next for Deicide? Oh, uh, well, you know, we're going to wrap up this tour. We're going to finish working on this record. And just kind of keep doing what we do. We said, getting the getting new record is done. Do the Hellfest. Maybe a European tour after that later in the year. But uh, mainly just wrapping up the music part of the new record and getting in and start recording the drums for them. Hopefully by the end of the year. You know, I'm thinking September or October or something like that. Mm -hmm. It won't take much, too much more time to do it. Awesome. And keep the ball rolling. <laughs> okay, so I just want to say thank you so much for joining us today. Good luck on the rest of the tour. And again, thank you so much. Thank you, Jackie. Thanks for coming out again.